Howdy. My name is Chris Serdic with Onstage Entertainment. I'm going to do a quick video on the Global Trust System 1 trussing that I use. I use the goal post instead of the arch. A uh, little bit of something about this trussing that I want to let you guys know that I do is in these two center parts uh, where they, these two will connect. Instead of the tapered pins, I bought some of these, are, I believe they're cotter pins, I'm not positive, but they're just short of the quarter inch. I bought these for a real quick disconnect, and they work amazing. They keep it nice and tight, just like the cotter pins would. Um, so just to show you kind of an example of how I set them up, I have my lights already pre-mounted on them. Um, I use the Chave light switch with two different power packs, so I can just link the power packs together. So as I'm setting them up, link them together, um, while I do this, let you guys know, I also, with this system, you can purchase another 5 foot, up to 5 foot section for the top, the center piece, as well as 1 and a half foot sections for the side. Instead of making it 8 foot by 8 foot, it then makes it 10 feet tall by 13 feet wide, which is the biggest recommended uh, that they say you should do with this for weight capacity and whatnot. So I did purchase that, and I do use that, and it's amazing. Uh, there's, it doesn't lose any durability, nothing to add all the extra to it. As you can see, they snap right in there. So then this is the part that I took some, uh, some time and some practice trying to figure out how to set this up by myself without anybody else's help. So that's why I'm showing you this video, a little tip and trick. Now these first side ends, I put both of these on first. Sorry about the echo in here. You know how the halls are, it's all wooden floors and no carpeting anywhere except for that little bit on the stage behind. The, uh, the stage is a little too small, short wise, for this light truss, so I'll be setting up right in front of the stage today. And let's see, today is September 28th, 2013. This is the Abraham and Sarah Bowl wedding that I'm currently so then I get the other side, same way. Just the top two, not the, not the bottom center piece. Alright. Now I got the cotton pins in there. I got two more pins with the clamps in my hands, one for each side of the one piece. Now, all I do is I simply grab the center and I lift, the lock in place, push it all the way to one side so it's locked on that side, and lift this one and I pull it in. So that's how I get it up to that far. Okay, so yeah, this system, I believe this trussing system was. Um, maybe $7.50, I believe is what I paid for it. Very, very, very light and very durable. Uh, for mobile DJs, it's a lot easier to lug around versus the, the 12 inch square. And when it's all the way up, you can grab and hang and swing because the base plates are nice and long. Again, the base plates are also nice and light. And I believe. Now when I first started setting up, I did the two and then the one. Now I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to put the one in first and then the two. So with these, I just, this one takes a little bit of time, so I just set it, set it right out to the side. I'm going to lift this and put that one, I'll use this to kick my foot over to get this over and put the one in one piece and lock it in. So simply lift.
You know, I know when I first started using this stuff, I did a lot of, a lot of hammering. Um, when you first get this and you start putting it together, the inserts between the two center pieces, it's got a, a little insert that goes in between the two poles. Make sure that that insert, because it has the hole that's cut inside of it, is tapered as well. Just like the pins are. So it's got a smaller hole on one end and a bigger hole on the other. Make sure the bigger hole is on the outside, like facing out, not facing in towards the triangle, or facing out. Bigger hole has to be facing out. Otherwise, you're going to have a pain in the butt trying to get your cotter pins, the tapered ones, back in there. Alright, so now I've got all three of my pins, and just like that, so all I'm going to do is simply lift and get the first one in. So I just set this aside. And this isn't really that heavy, and it's very sturdy on that side. So you just lift. If you guys got any questions, make sure you let me know. Comment below. Thank you.